Governor Jay Inslee of Washington, one of several states that's suing the Trump administration over its immigration crackdown. Governor Inslee wrote a letter to the administration today uh, signed by five other Democratic governors seeking information about the children still separated from their parents. And I want to start with what I thought was the most uh, alarming part of your letter and, and, and something that I had not heard before, And it, though it jives a little bit with what the arguments we heard from the administration court. You write the following. In a meeting with the governor's offices on June 29, 2018, Trump administration representatives shared that reunification may include the placement of separated children with any long-term sponsor, regardless of whether that placement is with their parents, another family member <clears throat> residing in the U.S., a family member residing in their home country, or in long-term foster care setting. Are you saying the Trump administration told you that they can place a child separated from parents in long-term foster care and count that as reunification? Yes, and perhaps we should not be surprised. This whole uh, indignant and traumatic episode was based on inhumanity at the beginning. Uh, it was based on deceit in the middle, and now it's based on incompetence. Now, these people have no idea what they're doing. I've seen coat check windows operate with a better system. And now, on top of that incompetence, uh, the secretary told us on a, on a conference call that they do not have an intention to reunify these children with their parents. They're going to call it good if they can find anybody else who could serve as a foster parent or might have some familial rep uh, uh, relationship. And these kids don't even know these strangers. We've got to understand the depth of depravity of this president. This was a system designed to be cruel, and it has continued to be cruel. And their, des and their continued design is not to follow this judicial order. You've seen it when, they've, when they told us yesterday they were going to comply with this order of five-year-olds, and now today they admitted that they would not, and they'd have no clue to do it. Now, what is so disturbing to me is we have seen this movie over and over with this bunch. We saw it when we sued on the Muslim ban. We're seeing it now when they're trying to take away our grants to fight crime. By the way, they're trying to take away our money to fight crime on the burn grant, uh, on the, on the grants. They're trying to take that money away from us. They're not trying to help local communities to fight crime. And then they're so incompetent, they can run a two-car funeral. And so this is par for the course with them. And that's why we have to remain entirely dedicated. We have to stay on them every single day. The price of protection from the depredations of Donald Trump is eternal vigilant. And I'm glad my state has, has sued them again on this. We'll be suing them again on this burn grant uh, thing in the future, near future. So uh, it's clear they do not intend to be humane. They will continue on this course until he is removed from office. And by the way, at the upshot of this show, you talked about the consequences of this. I'll tell you what, he's going to lose this November. He's going to lose seats this November because people are outraged by this traumatic abuse of these children. I, I want to make sure, I want to just come back because I do want to make sure that I understand this. I, I get um, a lot of emails, viewers of the show, and, and there's been kind of a conspiracy theory that has sort of floated out there. They're going to take these kids away. They're going to put them up for adoption. And I've even written back to some people and say, there's no evidence of that. I really don't think that's the, the case. But, but what you are saying is that you as a governor, your staff, in calls with officials, they told, communicated to you that they viewed placement in long-term foster care as equivalent to reunifying with a parent. Correct. And that's why we wrote the letter to him calling him on it. And they have not responded, which is also typical of them. We would think that the federal government would communicate with governors. We've written them repeated letters on this subject, and they've ignored them all. So we called him on it, and we should all be alarmed by this. Look, a five-year-old who's never met a foster parent, and we know there's good foster parents, but they ought to have their mothers, and mothers ought to have their children. And this is a continuation of their... I have to call it diabolical. I don't know what else to call it. In order to use these kids as hostages to try to get his wall and force his wall, that's what these children were used for. And he's continuing to do it. So I'm glad that we are continuing to beat this drum and shine the harsh light of truth on this abusive behavior, because only that will succeed in reigning in this rogue president. We have to be diligent on this, and I'm glad my state is doing that. By the way, oh, yeah. we've also helping these parents we are now, my state, and this is why it's important to have Democratic governors, my state is actually helping provide legal uh, attorneys for these kids so that they can get into court to enforce their rights. That's the right thing to do. It's not just congressmen and senators. 
It's governors, and that's why I'm glad we're going to elect some Democratic governors this year as well. Well, let me ask you a final question on the politics of this. You, you heard Senator Hirono uh, saying that she, she thought the backlash is bigger than the, than the provocation, as it were. Um, it, what is your read uh, of this? Well, I've been in politics for 25 years, off and on, and I can tell you that I have never seen an issue of any dimension that have touched so many human hearts. I have never seen people coming up to me saying they're losing sleep over this subject yeah. and asking what they can do. I've gone through the Vietnam War, the civil rights. This thing touched where people live because every parent who is separated for 10 minutes looking for their child in a shopping mall knows the terror this provokes. And you know who else knows that is Donald Trump. That's why he tried to use this as a weapon of, of terror. He understands that concern, and that's why Americans, Republicans, independents, Democrats, whatever you are, people understood how horrific this was. And that is going to translate into people coming to vote, because ultimately that's what we need to do. I, yeah. I've had dozens of people say, what, we, what can we do about this? Go vote and find somebody else to bring with you to vote this year. That's how we restrain this president. All right. Um, Governor Jay Inslee, thank you for thank making you. some time tonight. You bet. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.